Hello friends. In today's video, I am going to talk in details about Sputnik Light. I will cover what is the difference between Sputnik V and Sputnik Light, efficacy of Sputnik Light, side effects and advantages of Sputnik Light. Let's begin. You all know that Sputnik V is a double dose vaccine. It is a adenovirus vector vaccine. I have talked in details about adenoviral vector vaccine. I will add the link in the description and in the i button. So, as the name suggests, it uses adenovirus vector to deliver the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein gene. In case of Sputnik V, the first dose contains human adenovirus vector 26 and the second dose contains human adenovirus vector 5. So, the two doses are different. In the other vaccines used for SARS-CoV-2, both the doses have same component. Now, when only adenovirus 26 is given, then the vaccine is called Sputnik Light. So, Sputnik Light is nothing but the first dose of Sputnik V. And it is a single dose vaccine like Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The obvious questions that come to your mind is one dose enough? That is, what is the efficacy of Sputnik Light? In a study in Russia, it was found that Sputnik Light has an efficacy of about 80%. This efficacy was found 28 days after administration of the vaccine. That means Sputnik Light is pretty effective. For a quick comparison, Sputnik V has an efficacy of 91.6%. So Sputnik Light has slightly lower efficacy compared to Sputnik V, but still the number is good. In Argentina, the study was done on elderly population aged between 60 to 79 years and the efficacy was found to be between 78.6% to 83.7%. That's great, isn't it? And it was found that between 21st and 40th day from the date of receiving Sputnik Light, the infection rate among the vaccinated elderly people were 0.446% compared to 2.74% in the unvaccinated adult population. The real-world data from Paraguay shows that Sputnik Light is 93.5% effective and the study was done on 320,000 people. So far, so good. Let's now see how many people developed antibodies against Sputnik V. It was found that 96.9% of the vaccinated individuals developed antibodies against COVID-19. There are various types of antibodies developed against vaccination or natural infection. The most important among them is the neutralizing antibody. These antibodies stop the virus from entering the cell. It was found that 91.67% of the individuals developed neutralizing antibody on 20th day of vaccination. Apart from antibody development, another important arm of immune response is cellular response. And it was found that 100% of the volunteers developed cellular immune response against the S protein on 10th day. According to the developers, Sputnik Light has proven effective against all strain of coronavirus as demonstrated by Gamelia Center during laboratory tests. However, I could not find more detailed data on effect of Sputnik Light on different variants. If anyone of you have any idea, please let me know in the comment. It was found that if someone had pre-existing immunity against SARS-CoV-2 virus and then if they take Sputnik Light vaccine, it can increase the antigen-specific antibody by 40 times in 100% of the individuals after 10 days of vaccination. Side effects or symptoms after vaccination were very similar to other vaccines like mild pain in the injection site, fever, headache, fatigue, muscle ache, etc. There was no serious adverse effect. There was no death related to the vaccination. No cases of myocarditis or pericarditis that is inflammation of the heart was not found like in case of mRNA vaccines. No cerebral venous thrombosis was found like in case of some other adenovirus vector vaccines. No Galuba syndrome was found. This is a rare neurological disorder in which our immune system damage our nerve cell and this results in pain, numbness, muscle weakness and can cause paralysis. So it seems that the side effects were mild and controllable. 
Let's now understand what are the advantages of Sputnik Light. First of all, it is a single dose vaccine. So, it can be administered to a large number of people in a short period of time. This is very important to attain herd immunity faster and control the pandemic. Sputnik Light can be used as booster shot in combination with other vaccines. Combination of Sputnik Light with AstraZeneca seems to be safe without any adverse side effects. Studies are ongoing on combination of Sputnik Light with Sinopharm and Moderna. If you are interested to know more about this vaccine mix, let me know in the comment. That's it for today guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.